Hello my students, my name is Muhammad Amara and I'll be teaching the new IBDB Business Management SL. In this video, I'm going to talk about an introduction for this course. First of all, let's talk about the main features of the new business management course. This course is well aligned to the IB mission. At its heart, the course aims to develop students to be change agents as well as confident, creative, and compassionate business leaders, entrepreneurs, and social entrepreneurs. The learner profile links to the course are also more explicit. Revised Conceptual Framework Through the exploration of four interdisciplinary concepts, creativity, change, ethics, and sustainability, this course empowers students to explore these concepts from a business perspective. Integrated Business Management Toolkit The toolkit is a set of tools to be used by students with the syllabus content and can be applied in different disciplinary and interdisciplinary contexts. It should be integrated by teachers throughout while teaching the course. Assessment at a glance The type of assessment in Paper 1, the format of the assessment is based on a pre-release statement that specifies the context and background for the unseen case study. It will take around 1 hour and 30 minutes and the weight of the final grade approximately 35%. In Paper 2, based on unseen stimulus material with a quantitative focus, the time for it is 1 hour and 30 minutes and the weight is 35 percent and the business research project students produce a research project about a real business issue or problem facing a particular organization using a conceptual lens approximately 30 percent let's talk about the paper one overview paper one is the same for sl and hl students Three months prior to the examination, the IB will release a statement with two elements. The first element will be a small number of topics that provide context to the case study. These topics will not be topics that are in the guide, but ones that the students are asked to research for approximately five hours. Topics in the pre-release statement will build on topics contained in the syllabus. The aim is to assess a student's knowledge around important contemporary business topics that couldn't have been anticipated when the guide was written. The second element will be the first 200 words approximately of the case study itself. The release of this portion of the case study will provide additional context and will reduce the number of words to be read during the examination period. The aim of the paper is to assess the students' knowledge of the business management syllabus. The examination is based upon one case study of approximately 800 to 1,200 words that students do not see before the examination. Most questions will be qualitative, although some minor calculations could be part of the assessment. Let's talk about the paper 2 overview. Here, SL and HL students will set different examinations, but these will be similar in intent and form. The aim of the examination is to assess students' knowledge of the business management syllabus. Most questions will be quantitative and some are qualitative. Students will receive an examination booklet with the questions based on the stimulus material seen for the first time during the examination. The stimulus material will be presented in parts. Each part has a question. Students will read each part and answer the question before reading the next part and answering the question and so on. The stimulus material will be a combination of written and diagrammatic stimulus such as charts and infographics. For SL only, one of the stimulus options in section B of the examination may be on a social enterprise. What about the internal assessment overview? The internal assessment is a research project in which students apply appropriate business management tools and theories to a real organizational issue or problem using a conceptual lens. 
It is common for both HL and SL. The students will be required to select a real business issue or problem for their business research project that relates to any part of the syllabus. Refer directly to a single business organization, but may consider industry-wide issues that impact on that organization. Provide a research question for the business research project that could either be forward-looking or backward-looking. Based their research on primary and or secondary research selected for its suitability, depth, and breadth. Use only one of the four key concepts, change, creativity, ethics, or sustainability, as a lens through which to analyze the IA. Attached to the business research project, three to five supporting documents from which the majority of the info for the project has been obtained. Produce a business research project that doesn't exceed 1,800 words. Fully reference all supporting documents and additional source and include them in the bibliography. Curriculum Model Review In Unit 1, we will be talking about the introduction to business management, what is business, types of business entities, stakeholders, and so on. In Unit 2, we will be talking about the human resource management, introduction to the human resource management itself, organization structure and its types, leadership and management, motivation and demotivation, communication, and so on. In Unit 3, we will be talking about finance and accounts, source of finance, final accounts, profitability and liquidity, ratio analysis, cash flow, investment and appraisal. Unit 4, we will be talking about marketing, introduction to marketing, what is marketing planning and what is the market research, what are the 7 P's of the marketing mix. In Unit 5, we will be talking about operations management. Introduction to operations management and its methods, location, break even analysis, um, and we'll be talking also about the business management toolkit, and we will be talking about the internal assessment, of course. Thank you for watching this video.